Hello everyone, Brucey Wayne here at Gotham Collections with a special afternoon video for you. It's going to be a dandy. Buckle up. Alright, so today we're going to discuss books that were once hot and now are, you guessed it, poop. So let's go with the first one here. We have Runaways number one. This was once selling for $100. Now you're lucky if you get 30 bucks for it. Why? I don't know. The show is well received. There's another season coming. It's in the works. Everyone's excited about it, oh baby, oh baby, but they don't seem to give a fuck about this comic book. So that's unfortunate. So this is Runaways volume number one, number one. Uh, lots of first apps in here. It's got everything you would want, but unfortunately, nobody cares on the spec market. So avoid this one, friends. No matter how many episodes of this crap comes out, nobody cares. All right. Next one here is one that uh, Bruce e. Wayne himself thought was going to be a winner. It had everything uh, you would want as the Punisher awesome. And it has Punisher wearing the War Machine armor. That is exceptional. Look how awesome this cover is. I mean, look, look at his suit. It looks amazing. Well done. But as we all know, pretty much the only book that's valuable in the Punisher world is the first appearance uh, in Spider-Man. And everything else is kind of, uh, how do you say, poop? Yes. So, it's too bad this was once a $30 book, now $10 if you are lucky. All right, next book, please. Oh, baby, this is the third print, but I'm mainly talking about, well, actually all the prints. I think there's five. Um, <clears throat> and this is Batman New 52, number one. This was once selling for a whopping $150. Can you believe it? $150. Now... I think it's around twenty, thirty dollars if that, and nobody's really looking for it. Nobody cares, so it's unfortunate. But this is poop. Um, there must be five million copies of this too, because if if the first, you know, Batman sells a lot of books, uh, usually in the hundred thousand range. If there's a second, third, fourth, and fifth printing, holy Christ, how many? Uh, you know, it's great that us Batman fans are, you know. Uh, we're you know strong force to re be reckoned with but uh holy crap there must be some piles of this crap but anyway avoid them it's unfortunate there might be a printing that uh later we'll find out that's only you know two copies made or whatever but uh until then poop poop and more poop unfortunate sorry batman how'd you do it here's one that was hot for about a month uh this is uh major x yes uh yeah, everyone, this was one of those books where I think where everyone thought, you know, it's one of those uh, so stupid that it's hot kind of thing. But uh, I think it's just so stupid because it's stupid kind of thing now. So, unfortunately, this cover is not worth a whole lot of money anymore. This was, <laughs> would you believe this was selling, you know, in the first week, almost $50. Like, can you believe it? Almost $50. And now you'll be lucky to get it. Uh, they sell it for 10 to 15 dollars absolute poop it's un unfortunate however there is a variant cover that's uh, most people don't know about it's extremely rare and this book just gets hotter and hotter every single day it is on fire friends um and uh, almost nobody knows about it so it, it's definitely a book to look for in the shops if, if you can get it but it will cost you uh, quite a fortune it's a variant black and white sketch uh cover and uh, here it is right here. So yes, it's uh, Marvel Major Poop. And it's the uh, Poop variant by uh, WTF Cares. And uh, it even says, you know, buy now, Connie. Donny Kate said so. So really great. And uh, just like all Marvel books produced these days, you can you can rub it and it uh, the, the print, um, the ink rubs off. So that's really exceptional too. So that's quite nice. Uh, so yeah, so you might want to look for the Major Poop uh, Turd variant uh, by WTF Cares. So that's that's exciting, very exciting, yes. All right, let's move along and see what other crap we have here. Okay, Major Poop, ooh. Flash, this was another CBI, CBS I wonder. Uh, it was on the list, uh, and like most CBS I books on the list, they become poop uh, sometimes a week later. It's unbelievable. It's almost like they turn them into poop themselves. Um, but anyway, you know, they're just, they're doing a good job, doing what they do best. And, uh, you know, it must be hard to come up with lists every week. Um, 
especially when you're not looking at any sales data. <laughs> no, just joking, just joking, CSI, we love you, you're number one. I look at your list every week and uh, get excited when I uh, have a book that's uh, on there. Unfortunately, I don't buy every single indie comic that comes out, so I don't have many of them. But uh, anyway, that's another story. This is Flash number 170, and this is the first appearance of Cicada. Everyone was excited for a millisecond because this character is going to be on the show. Um, guess what, friends? Nobody cares anymore. Uh, this book was selling for another $30. Now, you, I don't think you can even get rid of it. So, poop. Sorry, poop. Here's another poopy extravaganza, Star Wars, Thrawn, the first appearance of Thrawn. This is the uh, toy variant here, and then this is the issue number one. Apparently this, this is a badass character in the Star Wars universe, if there could possibly be one. Uh, and uh, yeah, guess what? Nobody cares. This book doesn't even sell. So, absolute poop. So. Can't win them all. Uh, damage. I really, really thought this one was going to take off. Uh, great cover, great art, blah, 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 blah. Uh, it's basically DC's ripoff of the Hulk, uh, more or less. And uh, well, the series is cancelled, but uh, all the um, series under the New Age of Heroes is cancelled. So that doesn't mean anything really. I'm sure they'll make volume two of this. I don't think this character is going to go away, but as of right now, this book never really reached more than twenty dollars, but now you, you you know ten bucks if you're lucky. If you can get it, get rid of it for cover, you you should probably buy a load. So there you have it, damage number one. But you know I still kind of believe in this book, uh, but there are lots out there. So there you have it. All right, now here's a character that uh, I I still scratch my head today that you know what the fuck happened. But it is IDW and. They don't get a whole lot of love for some reason. Um, I'm not sure how they're even still around, to be quite honest. They, they, these toy companies must pay them to produce these books for them, you know, free advertising, trying to get to sell the toys, uh, excited, excitement in the characters and their, their, uh, their brands. But uh, anyway, I say that because I don't see anyone buying them. I don't know a single IDW collector, um, but that's just me. But uh, anyway, this is the first appearance of the character, Don, who becomes Lady Snake Eyes. Uh, absolutely wonderful colors that uh, came out. Uh, Lady Snake Eyes looked amazing. Uh, has everything that uh, sells these days, you know, hot female character who's badass and blah, 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 blah. Yeah, it's a lady version of Snake Eyes, but they do that in every single character these days. and um, That's just the way it goes. Uh, maybe they need a, a stupid homage cover and maybe people will get excited then. But uh, until then, well, sadly it's poop. This is G.I. Joe 244 and this is the first appearance of the character Don who becomes Lady Snake Eyes and then this is the first appearance of Lady Snake Eyes. That's not her on the cover. She's uh, That's actual Snake Eyes. Uh, I believe he dies or something. I don't know. Yada, yada, yada. But uh, it's, it's unfortunate. But uh, it's poop. So there you have it, friends. An unfortunate grouping of books that have tanked in the last little while. Uh, so, you know, you, Obviously, there's a hell of a lot more out there. So be wary when you're buying crap. Um, make sure it has long-term value. It has to be a character that, you know, has to resonate, has to stick around. So intergalactic stuff. And anyway, we won't even go there. We won't go there. That's for another video. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and share. And we'll see you again. Bye-bye.